Hi, so in this video we're going to apply the CTEC annotation technique to the second section of the Bain readings, pages 21 through 45. Again, I'm going to encourage you to stop this video frequently so you can read the examples and text on the screen. My narration is going to work more on the broader level of sort of highlighting the techniques of annotating our readings, and I won't be reading verbatim what's on the slide. So the C in CTEC again stands for Claims and Concepts. I've put two important claims from the chapter up here as examples. You're going to notice a couple things. First of all, there's a lot of other claims Bain makes. I'm not trying to pull them all together for you, just trying to show you what we're looking for in a claim. A claim is the kind of thing that would make a good topic sentence. It's an idea that needs to be supported, explained, or defended. And there's a couple examples on the screen for you here. Notice also I don't have the page numbers because I want you to go and find these things. If I were to provide the page numbers, I'd be doing everything. The second idea that C stands for are concepts. And concepts can be as simple as a particular term. But in Bain, the key concepts are often sets of terminology, ideas that he gleans from research studies and larger pedagogical approaches that he clusters as concept sets. And uh, I put three examples up on the screen. Uh, the learning styles, uh, the t in other words, the types of learners, the types of experts, and the types of motivators. So those are three examples of concepts that Bain develops to support the claims or larger arguments that he's making. And you should be annotating these things either with margin notes or with underlining or ideally both. And I want to remind you again that margin notes should be one or two, three words at the most. Think of it as a form of indexing. And again, I encourage you to look at my the samples I have provided of my own annotations that might give you a better sense of what we're trying for here. T in CTEC stands for terms, and the reading that we did for today has a barrage of terms, and you have to take the time to recognize them and to start working on understanding them. These terms are going to be huge when you turn around and later write a paper, and I try to include some quiz questions related to these different terms for, uh, for you as well. Um, and you can see up here what there's a, at least 10 from, from this chapter, and I don't even think I wrote everything I saw down. But these were the big ones. And so as you're reading through the chapter, you want to be alert for these different terms he's introducing. Highlight them, circle the term, use margin notes to indicate that this is maybe where you can find a definition or an example of those terms. So the second step of the CTEC annotation method, terms, and here's a bunch that you could be looking for for this section of the reading. E in CTEC stands for examples, and in the reading that we're doing for today, it crosses over a couple of chapters, and so he's got uh, three examples that are still part of the end of chapter one, Liz Lerman, the Butler and Goodrich couple, and Will Allen, and then there are three examples that are part of chapter two, and the first, Jeff Hawkins, is another one of his exceptional people that he studies, and the other two are... Uh, well, it's a, it's a per, one person and a pair of researchers, are researchers who've done different studies that he talks about. And these were a lot of Bain's examples come from. They come from successful college grads, and they come from researchers, scientists, and educators who are exploring the kind of questions Bain's interested in, in his text. And these are the kind of examples that he really develops in what we read uh, for, for this section, pages 21 through 45. And then finally, the last letter in CTEC is Q. Q means you're looking for those cool quotes. You're looking for the ideas that really resonate with you, so much so that you want to have the exact quote carefully underlined in your text. And I chose two on the screen here. Uh, I had uh, probably four or five in the total of 23 pages that we read. And, and that's a good way to sort of think about quotes. You don't want to be underlining everything. Some of the quotes you underline will be less important than others, but it's a great idea to spend some time highlighting the quotes that really matter to you. And often when I go back through my annotations, I use asterisk marks to separate the underlinings I've done that I think are particularly important. And so out of 20 pages, I might have a quote a page underlined but out of that whole section, maybe only three or four quotes that I've put asterisks next to, the ones that really jump out at me.
So there's a little bit of CTEC applied to the newest section of Bain. I heard from people that it was helpful when I worked through this, and I'll continue to do so as we go through the Bain text. Again, I'm not providing page numbers. I'm giving you directions, things to explore here. You need to get into the text and find this material yourself and annotate it your way. All right, good luck, and I'll see you out there in the course.